Okay, in this video, we will be programming operation one of our part. Let's give a quick look back at our drawing. This is the part drawing, and this is the process layout. We will be programming operation one. Here we can see the feed device, and here is our front turning tool that will be doing the face chamfering diameter nine. Okay, so this is face chamfering diameter nine. So let's do it. Before I program my ISO code, I will adapt my spindle speed. And now it's still at the default value of 2000 RPM. I will change it to, let's say, a feed that is uh, a speed, sorry, that is equivalent to um, the cutting speed for a carbide tool to brass material. The tool manufacturers will give you a range of cutting speed uh, that goes from 180 to 400 meters per minute for brass. I will choose an average. Uh, the average will be, let's say, 250. So for a diameter 11, it equals to about 2000, sorry, 7,300 RPM. So I type 7,300 RPM for spindle one, and I'm okay with that. Then before, I still need to check if my tool geometry is the correct tool. So T1101, I open it. So it's a front turning tool. Good. I already have the default geometry. I have a radius of 0 0.2, which is fine. A quadrant 3, which is the correct one. Okay. Now if I look at operation 1, I have the rapid approach that is inactivated. It's a specificity of this uh, operation one because I could only have the feeding of the part if I want to. If I have a simple part, I can do the rest of my operation on the other post. I could simply only do the feeding here. But here I'm doing the turning tool. So I want to activate the rapid approach of the turning tool. So I double click on 2.3 and I uncheck the comments, which will activate my ISO code for this operation. There is another specificity of the rapid approach for position one. I have this extra line here that says G1, G100, X11 equal minus 30. This minus 30 move is just to clear the feed device as I am approaching with my turning tool. Nothing to change there, everything is good and safe. So I validate this and I can go on and program my first operation. 2.4, I double click. I will uh, modify my text here. Turn diameter nine millimeter. Oops, sorry, what did I do? Turn diameter nine millimeter and face. There we go. And here I will change this icon for a front turning tool. Okay, and now I can go on here and start editing my part. I make a rapid approach to Z0 since I want to face. And then I will turn my face down to five millimeter diameter. I don't need to go all the way to zero because later on I will add a drill and a tab there. So I know I don't need to cut material that will be removed after anyway. I remind you that this is a high production machine, so we don't want to cut uh, material that is not necessary. Okay. Then the next step, I clear from the face. And then I will approach to start doing my chamfer. And then I will program also my um, radius compensation G42 on the right side of my profile.
here I am doing my chamfer and then I go down to my diameter. I go a little bit further than the end of my diameter. And then I move clear from the diameter 9. And then I cancel my radius compensation. And then I can move clear from my part. So this is it. My uh, diameter 9 and facing and chamfer are done. They are programmed. Now I just want to check if what I have programmed is uh, correct, if it looks like what I want to do that. So first I must not forget to validate my uh, operation. And then I will generate my cycle, and this will allow me to visualize my contour. So now that is in Gantt mode, I double click on this. Here I see my ISO code, and I click on the view outline. And here I can see my approach facing, disengage, rapid approach for the beginning of my chamfer. Engagement of my radius compensation, I do my chamfer, diameter 9, and I disengage. I can also follow it from here. Here I see my ISO code. And if I click on next code, I will see with the blue color the operation that it's doing here. Next, next, and so on. And this is a good graphic. So my ISO code is good. The operation is what I want it to be. So it's done already for turning of operation one. Don't forget to save. And we will be moving on for operation two and see you in the next video.